Hey folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am very happy you're here today. Uh, we're going to talk about a, a subject that affects everybody. So there's no target audience for this talk today. We're going to talk about arthritis. Now you think to yourself, well, Dr. Joe, I don't have arthritis. It doesn't affect me. It can. And I'm going to explain to you what arthritis is, why you have to be concerned about it, because it, you may not have symptoms of it yet, but the key word is yet. And then most importantly, what do we do about it? So, uh, our website, drjoe.com, we have over 2,000 hours of podcasts, so we have lots of podcasts there if you want to. Uh, if you're a podcast junkie, just go to your podcast server and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it, Dr. Joe for the health of it, and whatever podcast service you're on, I will appear there as well. So let's talk about arthritis. Now, arthritis is an umbrella term, and it describes inflammation of the joints. That's a good generic explanation of what arthritis is. Now, there's different types of arthritis. The two major types, what we're going to talk about today, are rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. And every one of us have to be concerned about certainly one of them. And I'll explain which one in a second. So rheumatoid and osteo are different, and they affect the joints differently. Um, rheumatoid is an autoimmune disease, and osteoarthritis is a degenerative disease. So what that means is autoimmune means the body is attacking itself. So your body looks at your joints or it looks at your digestive system or whatever it is, your thyroid, and says, I don't know what that is. I'm going to attack it. And so that's an autoimmune disease. There are ways to mitigate the damage from autoimmune diseases. And if you have one, chances are you're going to have others. So if you have Hashimoto's disease of the thyroid, autoimmune reaction, you may develop digestive issues. You may develop your bowel syndrome. If you have osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, you might develop other uh, uh, autoimmune diseases. So we've got to deal with the autoimmune aspect when it comes to rheumatoid arthritis. Osteoarthritis is physical. What that means is the bones are out of place, rubbing up against each other. So we have to get in there and get to the cause of the problems if we're going to see progress. So many people, and I've been in practice now 38 years, so many patients come to us and say, Dr. Joe, I went to my doctor and I got diagnosed with blank, whatever that blank is. So what's the protocol? Well, they told me to just take steroids or they told me to just take some anti-inflammatories. I said, what about treating the cause? Very seldom is that ever discussed. That's all we discuss is getting to the cause of the problem, not just treating the symptoms. So rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune disorder, the body's attacking itself. If you have rheumatoid arthritis, your body interprets the soft lining around the joints as a threat, sort of like they think it's a bacteria or a virus, and they attack it. So this attack causes fluid to accumulate in the joint, and it can cause swelling, and the fluid buildup can cause pain, can cause stiffness, and can cause inflammation. So what do we got to do to get your body to stop attacking itself? We need to calm down the immune system. Not every case do we need to stimulate the immune system. So if you have a cold or a flu, you want to activate the immune system. If you have an autoimmune disease, you want to calm it down or kind of direct it and say, hey, listen, that joint is okay. Stop attacking it. My colon is okay. My thyroid is okay. Stop attacking it. And so there's methods to do that. And we're going to talk about that. Osteoarthritis, most common form of arthritis is, degenerate, is degenerative. People with osteoarthritis experience a breakdown of the cartilage uh, in their joints. Could be in the spine, could be in the shoulder. Any joint can, be break, can break down. Wearing down of the cartilage causes the bones to start to rub up against each other. That irritates the little nerves that are in the bones, and that's why osteoarthritis is so painful. Rheumatoid inflammatory, osteodegenerative. Both of them can be managed. Osteoarthritis doesn't involve the immune system, but inflammation can occur in both cases. So both types of arthritis are common in men and women. Rheumatoid and osteo are both prevalent in older adults. Usually, I don't see osteoarthritis in children, and I've seen literally hundreds of thousands of x-rays in my career because the bones are out of place, and when you're young, you have good circulation, uh, you have good healing properties, and many times the body can heal as quickly as it wears out. As you get older, the circulation to your joints wears out, the nerve supply to the joint wears out, uh, your diet goes to, you know, heck in a handbasket, and so the body's ability to heal is reduced dramatically. And so that's where you start to see osteoarthritis, usually in older adults. You can see rheumatoid arthritis in children, and it's horrible. And so we're going to talk about what to do about it because most people don't know. Rheumatoid arthritis usually runs in the families. 
if you have a higher chance of developing a condition, if your parent or a sibling has it, of course, you know, it's a genetic predisposition. Now, you're likely to develop osteoarthritis if you have bones out of place. So the question that I get every single day in my career is, why do I have this? I say the bones are out of place. Well, what caused the bones to go out of place? Anything. Lifting, bending, squatting, housework, yard work, car accidents, sports injury, slip and fall, uh, sleeping wrong, bad shoes, bad posture, uh, tech neck, leaning over to staring at a phone all day. Anything that's going to put stress on the spine or any joint can cause the joints to wear out. Now, there's physical stress, which, of course, could be an injury. There's chemical stress. If you have a bad diet, it may not be giving the body the nutrients that it needs for the muscles to work, for the discs to heal. And so a bad diet can contribute to both rheumatoid and osteoarthritis. And then if you're not digesting your food properly, you're not absorbing your nutrients. And if you're not absorbing your nutrients properly, that becomes an issue. And so that's why we want to get the nervous system working, the digestive system working, and your diet straightened out. If you have an injury, car accident, sports injury, slip and fall, please come see us immediately. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. I've been in practice a long time. I've seen thousands, maybe tens of thousands of patients. I mean, I've been doing this for 38 years, five days, six days a week sometimes. So what happens is people get in an accident, let's say a car accident. You get in a car accident, car's damaged, you come into, you go, well, you know, my neck hurt a little bit for a couple of days, then the pain went away. I don't really need treatment. Okay, you're going to have to pay for this sooner or later. So five years, 10 years go by, you finally come in to see us, we take an x-ray, we say these bones are out of place, we're starting to see early stages of arthritis, that means it's been here about 10 years. Well, it just started hurting the other day, okay? What'd you do 10 years ago? Let me think about it. Oh, I remember, I was in a car accident. I heard you say, Dr. Joe, on radio, television, podcast, whatever it was, that if you're in a car accident, if the car is damaged, you're damaged. But I didn't have any pain, okay? I'm telling you, folks, if you have a trauma, please come see us because 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. Say it again. 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. So you can have a bone out of place pinching a nerve and not feel it. 10 years later, you come to see us. We see arthritis on the x-rays. Oh my gosh, I should have come see you 10 years ago. Yes, you should have. So don't wait. Let us determine if there's damage. We can be an, we can be an, uh, be an objective a party analyze the body to see if there really was damage or not. Because sometimes there is no damage. But I've never seen a car accident where there was no damage, ever. And I've seen thousands and thousands of car accidents. I teach other doctors, lawyers, physical therapists how to deal with car accidents. So we're really good at it. So if you're ever in an accident, please come see us. Uh, don't f fall for scams. There are scams out there where people call you up and say, uh, Hey, Joe, this is Tom from your insurance company, and I want you to go see uh, Dr. Smith and Attorney uh, Jones because uh, we're sending you there. Your insurance company will never call and tell you to go see a doctor. No one will ever call and tell you to go see a doctor or a lawyer. Sometimes they'll even offer you incentives, they call it. We'll give you a $500 gift card if you go see this doctor. Stop seeing this doctor. Go see that doctor. Folks, it's a scam. A, you can be involved in it, and that's illegal. And B, chances are you're not going to get the care that you need. I've never seen any scam artist ever give the care that people need. So don't fall for those scams if somebody calls you and says, go see this doctor, go see this lawyer. I don't want you falling for it. So the symptoms, we're talking about arthritis today. Rheumatoid and osteoarthritis, similar symptoms. Pain and stiff joints, limited range of motion, warm and tender to the affected areas, increased intensity of symptoms first thing in the morning. You wake up, you're stiff. So rheumatoid arthritis... That's the autoimmune condition. Each kind of arthritis is different. Rheumatoid is a systemic disease, which means it affects the entire body, the heart, the lungs, the eyes, not just your joint, joints. Early signs of rheumatoid arthritis. You can have a uh, little achiness, swelling, nodules, and heat, but it's usually on both sides of the body. Osteoarthritis is one side. You traumatize that area. That's one way you can really tell the difference. People with advanced stages of rheumatoid arthritis, uh, the lumps in the rheumatoid arthritis called rheumatoid nodules become pretty big. People with osteoarthritis, you're unlikely to experience overall symptoms. The whole body isn't being affected. It's a knee, it's a shoulder, it's a spine. The generative nature of osteoarthritis is limited solely to the joints. There's no inflammation. It doesn't affect the lungs. It doesn't affect the heart. 
So people develop lumps under the skin around their joints. These lumps are different from rheumatoid because they're called bone spurs. So if I jam my finger playing volleyball, and here I am in high school. So 10 years later, I start to feel a bump forming on that joint that's always hurt me for 10 years. That's probably going to be a bone spur. The nodule almost feels like a little tiny BB underneath the skin. So here or there, there are certain things you need to do to get them both under control. So with rheumatoid arthritis, the autoimmune disease, it's usually the smaller joints. You'll likely have pain, stiffness, and swelling in your finger joints. As rheumatoid progresses, it can go to the larger joints like your knee, uh, your hip, your shoulder. Rheumatoid arthritis is symmetrical, and this is really one of the keys. Both your hands hurt, both your shoulders hurt, your whole body hurts. Now, what I want you to do if you, have, you think you have rheumatoid arthritis, go to our website, drjoe.com, and type in the word autoimmunity. Listen to the show we did on autoimmunity because rheumatoid arthritis is just one of the many autoimmune diseases that can occur. And when you listen to that show, it'll tell you exactly what to do, what not to. I'm going to cover it briefly today, but if you have these conditions, you want to get a little more in depth. And by the way, the website, drjoe.com, we have over 3,000 hours of podcasts. So chances are, if you have a condition, we've done a show or a podcast or a blog or a, an article or a lecture on it. So all you have to do is go to the website, type in the search bar what you're looking for, and you're probably going to find a lot of good information. Now, if you can't find the information that you need, the little bot pops up on the website and it says, hey, would you like to chat? Send us your questions. I usually answer most of them. Joe answers some of them as well, my, my, uh, my assistant here. And we can get those questions answered usually within a day. Now, don't get nervous. Sometimes people, every now and then, some of you get a little excitable and you send me a question and like 20 minutes later, you know, why haven't you answered my question? Well, I don't know. Maybe I was with patients. Maybe I was in the shower. Maybe uh, I didn't have my phone with me. I didn't have my computer with me. Uh, we're going to get to you, okay? If it's two or three days, we don't get back to you, then something got lost and then you can you get a little gruffer with us, but be nice to us. We like being treated nicely because we give you all this information and it's our gift to you. So if somebody's giving you a gift, you say thank you, right? Now, in return, maybe you'd like to do something for us. Follow us on social media. It's real simple, at Dr. Joe Esposito, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And the reason I say that is we post almost every day. We post a lot of good information that you can use, and you're missing out on incredibly uh, high quantities of good information, absolutely free, if you don't follow us. And then if you don't get the information, that's your bad. So at Dr. Joe Esposito, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, Twitter, Twitch, I think we're everywhere. So please feel free to follow us. And that really helps us too, because then we get a bigger following. So, but again, if you have questions, drjoe.com, you can uh, send it to us if we need to. So let's talk about some treatments. And we're going to talk about some treatments that work and some treatments that may not work. And then what you need to do about it. So the primary goal of treating osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis is reduce pain, improve function, minimize damage to the joints. That's the medical approach. We want to go one step further. We want to get to the cause of the arthritis. We want to reduce the pain and help the swelling and make you feel better. But if we can get to the cause of the problem, we're not just treating the symptoms uh, and not just you know chasing our tails, basically. Because if you treat the symptoms, as soon as you stop doing that treatment, the pain comes back. I had a patient the other day call into a show I was doing. And he said, Dr. Joe, I've been taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source for years now. And one of my friends said, it's all in your head. You don't really need that stuff. He said, so I stopped taking it for a month. I want to see if it really was in my head. He says, it's not in your head. He says, my cravings came back. I started putting on weight. I started eating bad food. I wasn't sleeping as well. He says, it wasn't in my head. It was real. So if you don't know what those are, that's the minimum supplements I recommend everybody take. And they're two powders. Uh, you take a scoop of each. I mix it with coconut milk, almond milk, hemp milk, whatever's on sale, actually. Shake it up in a jar and drink it every day. It's the first thing I do in the morning. I wake up in the morning and I think, okay, I'm going to have my super greens and essential source soon. I'm excited. So I do recommend that uh, everybody get on there. If you are on blood thinners, there's a little caveat. It's on the website what to do about that. Uh, easy to get around, but you can still take it. So other than that, it's pretty amazing. And people say to me all the time, well, how young can a person take this? If they're eating solid food, they can take super greens and essential source. Now, if it's a toddler, you can probably give them a quarter of a scoop or an eighth of a scoop. You don't have to give them a full scoop. That might be too much. But once a kid's, right, teen years, a scoop of each is what you need every day. 
I can't imagine not taking that every day. Now, there's other supplements I recommend as well. But for right now, the minimum substance would be super greens and essential source. If you have arthritis, rheumatoid or osteo, I do recommend you take turmeric. Turmeric is a wonderful natural anti-inflammatory. And it's all on the website, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E.com. So we'll talk a little bit more about supplements as we continue on. But if you do want to make an appointment to come see us, if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, arthritis, digestive issues, nutritional concerns, stop suffering needlessly. So many of you are suffering and it's absolutely unnecessary. And the biggest complaint I get is, why didn't I do this sooner, Dr. Joe? Why didn't somebody tell me that the core healthcare plan, my opinion, needs to be a normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, and good nutrition? I don't know why that is not taught in every school. It's not in, in, insisted on in every hospital, in every daycare center. I have no idea. And I hope in my lifetime I see that that becomes the protocol. The portal of entry for healthcare, normally functioning nervous system, normally functioning digestive system, good nutrition. If we can do those three things, we're going to eliminate a lot of long-term healthcare problems that people have. Not all, most. And it's the most effective, least expensive treatment as well. I don't know how to make it easier. So if you do want to come see us in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We would love to be your doctors. We would love the opportunity to work with you. So if you want to make an appointment, just go to our website, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E.com. You can book it right online or call us. Now, next question, people say, how much does it cost? The initial visit is normally $712 if you walked in off the street. For our listeners, we've reduced that to $299. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment, going over the x-rays on your follow-up visit, complete nutrition evaluation, all of that, $299. X-rays alone are going to cost you more than that just about anywhere else. So if you're ready to get well, drjoe.com, we do accept insurance, uh, almost all insurances, sometimes is in-network benefits, out-of-network benefits, convoluted benefits. Uh, so yes, we have to check your policy. People say, well, Dr. Joe, do you accept Blue Cross patients? Yes, we do. We accept all patients. We need to check your specific policy to see what your specific coverage is. So we can't give you a specific number until you tell us what policy you have. But I digress. DrJoe.com, make an appointment for you, your friends, your family, and your children. Kids need care too. Because if, they're, if they start out life healthy, they usually grow healthy. If they start out life crooked, they usually grow crooked. So the question comes up then, what's the best treatment? I had somebody send me an email the other day through the website. Dr. Joe, I had an MRI. Doctor said I have a bulging disc. Should I have surgery? I don't know. How bad is the bulging disc? How long has it been there? Is it deteriorated? Is it protruding or prolapsed? I mean, there's a lot of different questions there. But we find generally, across the board, that it's best to start with an uh, entry-level treatment. Low risk, high reward. That's chiropractic care. Chiropractic care is the most effective, least expensive treatment for back pain. So if I have the most effective, least expensive treatment, that's exactly what I want. If it's the most effective, it's most expensive, I probably still want that. But this is the most effective, least expensive. I don't know how to make it any easier for you folks. A study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine found that 63% of people who visit a rheumatologist <clears throat> for osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and fibromyalgia also see complementary alternative medicine that's called CAM, complementary alternative medicine. Chiropractic care was the number one sought after treatment. So chiropractic care is the top of the list for alternative healthcare treatments and nearly 31% of people trying chiropractic care at least once. I don't understand why everyone doesn't. I honestly don't. I, I, I lay in bed at night and I think, okay, we have the most effective, least expensive treatment. It's covered by almost all insurances. Even if it's not, it's still less expensive than most people have in deductible payments anyway. It gets to the cause of the problem and doesn't treat the symptoms. It doesn't use drugs or surgery. Now, I'm not against drugs or surgery, but if I can do it without drugs and surgery, that's how I want to do it. I don't understand why everyone doesn't come in. And it's funny. We had a patient come in uh, just the other day, and our Marietta office is, I've been here for 38 years. I've been to Marietta office. And so we have several doctors working in that office. And one of our satellite offices he usually goes to that office, and he walks in, and he says, this place is busy. I said, yeah, most of our doctors are booked solid. That's why it's very important to make your appointment and then keep your appointments once you make them because otherwise you're going to lose your slot. And he says, this is amazing. 
He said, I went to another chiropractor's office once and they just kind of sitting around waiting for people to walk in. I said, no, no, we don't do that here. We're, we're very busy with patients. And a good portion of that is because we get great results. I consider my team of doctors, my opinion, the finest in the world. It's my opinion. Uh, and they treat me. If I don't trust them treating me, I don't trust them treating you. So you're in the hands of what I consider some of the finest in the world. And our results are extremely high. Dentists have the highest success rate of all doctors. You have a cavity, you get it filled, you're done. Chiropractic care is the second highest success rate of all healthcare professions. And way down the list is like drugs and surgery. Sometimes you need drugs and surgery, but I want to try something that's going to get me better results as quickly as possible. Now, the reason patients choose uh, uh, CAM, it's called um, complementary alternative medicine, are somewhat typical. They control pain. They want to get to the cause of the problem. They've heard it helps because it's safe because it helped people, someone they know, and because the pre prescription medicine doesn't work. 63% of patients in this study reported using complementary alternative medicine at least once, and 90% of them are doing it on a regular basis. So that equates, if you want to do the math, 57% of all arthritic patients receive uh, complementary alternative medicine for their condition. 57% do, we need to get the other percent under care. Because with a bone out of place, if the bone is out of place, the bones are going to rub up against each other. So if the bones are rubbing up against each other because they're out of place, what's the most logical thing to do? Put them back in place. If the tires on your car are out of alignment, what's the first thing you do? You don't keep driving the car. You get it to a mechanic, maybe get a tow to a mechanic and say, I need my car aligned. And the mechanic goes in there, realigns the tires, and then the, the tires don't wear out as quickly as they were when they were crooked. Well, your body's the same way. If you have a joint out of place, your foot, your toe, your ankle, your hip, your, uh, your knees, your shoulders, your spine, if any joint is out of alignment, it's rubbing up against the bones above and below it, and it's wearing out. So if you have pain, I've never seen it where the bones weren't out of place. So if you have pain, bones are out of place, they're rubbing up against each other, they're wearing out. So covering up the pain with medication is sometimes necessary. Again, I, I, I have a traumatic brain injury, and I always will. And so sometimes that traumatic brain injury requires me to take some medication because the pain is, is, is severe. However, I don't hardly ever take the medication because with chiropractic care, I keep the bones lined up. So if you can keep the bones lined up, we stop the pain in most cases. We stop the joints from wearing out or certainly slow it down in most cases. And there's no drugs or surgery and the side effects are very, very limited. So yeah, if you have pain, you probably want to come see us. DrJoe.com. Uh, again, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We would love to be your doctors. Now, I've got a lot more to cover. I'm going to talk about diet and how it affects rheumatoid and osteoarthritis. Uh, that's coming up. But if you'd like to follow us on social media, and I think you should, DrJoe.com drjoe.com, and you can uh, just follow us, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. I think we're on LinkedIn um, because we stream a lot of our podcasts. And so you get to see my pretty face a lot, but you also get information when we have uh, new lectures coming out. We have new po products coming out, discounts. In the past, we've given away many, many tickets to live lectures that I've done, concert tickets that I had nothing to do with. Uh, I don't sing, but we give away lots of stuff because we want you to follow us at Dr. Joe Esposito. So please do that. If you're a podcast junkie, just go to your podcast service and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. And we have hundreds of hours there, but our website really is the best source. We have over 3,000 hours of audio and video podcasts. Oh, YouTube too. Follow us on YouTube at Dr. Joe Esposito. Uh, subscribe to our channel. And we post on YouTube every single week. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be following us. And again, if you want to make an appointment, any questions, the website again, drjoe.com. We'll be right back. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Thanks for being here. We're talking today about arthritis, and we're covering the two main types, which is rheumatoid and osteoarthritis. And arthritis is, affects the joints. Osteoarthritis is the joints rubbing up against each other and wearing out. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. So I said earlier, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, you could listen, of course, to this show and then go to our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com, type in autoimmunity in the search bar. And we did a good show on autoimmunity because rheumatoid arthritis is just one of the many uh, rheumato uh, 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 autoimmune diseases. 
And so we kind of cover generally how to deal with autoimmune diseases. Now, when it comes to arthritis, can it be cured? It depends how far along it is. It depends how much damage has occurred. And it also depends on your general health. And that's why I want my patients to be as healthy as possible so that they can respond to any treatment, whether it's chiropractic or cancer treatments or surgery or physical therapy. You want to be as healthy as possible so that you get a better response from whatever treatment you need. And so that should be your general goal is I want to be as healthy as possible for as long as possible. And if you want to do that, that's why you listen to this show. We teach you that. Uh, Acupuncture can be used. Physical therapy can be used. They're all great. But if the bones are out of alignment, you got to put the bones back in place. Though the other alternative therapies are good, but they're in conjunction with chiropractic, not instead of chiropractic when it comes to arthritis, in my opinion. So if you do want to make an appointment to come see us, you can do that right online, drjoe.com. Uh, in the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We would love to be your doctors. We would love the opportunity to get your nervous system working, get the joints lined up, get your digestive system working, get a, a good uh, dietary protocol put together, and let's see if we can add a couple of years to your life. I had a friend of mine call me the other day, my friend Brian, and he's my, around my age, and he said, uh, I'm scared, Joe. And I said, why? He goes, I'm, I'm realizing my friends are dying around me. He says, and I'm realizing that I'm mortal, and I'm scared. And that's a very natural, normal feeling, and all of us will get to that point at some time, and I hope you do anyway. I hope you get to that point. You live long enough. And so that's why I try to get as healthy as possible every day. And I want you to have that same goal because you're, you're all my family. And I want my family to be around for a long time. I don't have any family left. So I want to have my family around for a long time. And that's you guys. And so that's why I try to teach you guys how to get well and stay well. And there's no reason not to do what I say. It's the most effective, least expensive treatment for healthcare, especially back pain. Why not do it? DrJoe.com, great source of information. All right. So let's talk about diet. Highlights benefit from plant-based diets and rheumatoid arthritis. Now, if you've listened to the show before, I, I've been a vegan now for 35 years, I think it is. Uh, so I don't eat any animal products. Now, there's a difference between vegan and plant-based. Vegan means you don't eat anything that has animal products in it. But cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, uh, junk food can still be vegan. Plant-based is eating the food as close as it was to nature. So if I have a salad, I pick it, I chop it up and eat it. That's really a good plant-based raw food meal. If I take something and process it and process it again, let's say uh, these veggie burgers that are real popular right now, they're not really a health food because they're so processed that they really don't have all the benefits of a good plant-based diet. I eat them periodically. I like them. If you want my opinion, I like Beyond Burger better than Impossible Burger, but it's not really a health food. As close to as it, as it picked from nature, that's what we're shooting for. So plant-based diet can alleviate painful symptoms associated with rheumatoid arthritis, according to something a, journal, a review published in Frontiers in Nutrition. That should be the end of my conversation with you. Rheumatoid arthritis may alleviate painful symptoms associated with it. Why not do that? Let's assume it doesn't work. Let's assume you go to a plant-based diet, you're eating fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, you're taking Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, you're taking turmeric, which is a great anti-inflammatory, you're taking Dr. Joe's Digestive Enzymes to break up inflammation, uh, you're taking Dr. Joe's B Vitamins to help the nervous system work better, and it doesn't work. So what? Didn't work. What are you out? A couple of bucks? If I'm wrong, I lied to you. If I'm right, which I am, then you say, okay, now I get it. Now I understand why this is the best way to go. So the nice part is extremely low risk, extremely high reward, and no downside. Even if it doesn't work, it didn't work. So you ate well for six, eight weeks. So what? But here's the thing. You're probably going to see changes within a few days. Now, you may not be totally healed, but you'll say, you know, I'm sleeping better. I'm going to the bathroom better. My love life's improved. I'm uh, waking up more refreshed. I have more energy. This is not really a difficult thing. It's not really like you're taking a chance. Doesn't work, doesn't work, but it will work. Studies of this, uh, of this uh, highlights of this study. Four ways plant-based diet may be effective. Plant-based diets reduce inflammation. One study found participants randomized in a two-month plant-based dietary intervention. That means they ate right. 
experienced reductions in inflammatory scores when compared to those eating diets in higher fats and animal products. Other studies found that diets high in fat and processed uh, animal products uh, were associated with inflammatory markers, something called C-reactive protein. Now, when you get your blood work done, it's a good idea to get your C-reactive protein checked, the letter C, reactive protein. The reason is that's a marker in your blood to determine how much inflammation <clears throat> is in your body. Now, it's not going to say where the inflammation is. It's just going to tell you that you have a lot or a little. And we know this, study after study. If you're eating the typical American diet, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, if you're eating those seven deadly sins in nutrition, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener, you're going to have higher inflammation in your body. If you're eating a high-quality plant-based diet, chances are you're going to have lower inflammation in your body. So there's your answer. It doesn't, you don't have to dig deeper. The answer's there. Eat more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, and eat less of the seven deadly sins. Plant-based diets and high-fiber diets have been associated with lower C-reactive protein levels. Boom. Simple. Plant-based diets reduce rheumatoid arthritis and pain swelling. Randomized clinical trial that looked at the effects of low-fat vegan diet on people with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis found that after just four weeks on the diet, participants experienced significant improvements in morning stiffness, rheumatoid arthritis pain, joint tenderness, joint swelling. The review authors suggest that plant-based diets are typically lower in fat and higher in fiber, which can reduce inflammation and decrease pain. The study is clear. I can't tell you how many patients I've seen in my life, how many family members and friends I've, I've seen suffer. And I say, listen, guys, why don't you try this and see what happens? And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Nah, I can't give up my dairy. I can't give up my roast beef. I can't give up my pork chops. Well, then you really don't have to write this complaint. You can, but we have an answer for you. And you're not doing it. Now, if you do it and it doesn't work, then complain all you want. Plant-based diets are associated with lower uh, body mass index, so you, you're going to be thinner. Studies show that excess body weight increases the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis and decreases the likelihood of remission in rheumatoid arthritis. So once again, the heavier you are, the harder it is for, to deal with the pain and the inflammation. But if you're eating a plant-based diet, plant-based diets have been shown to work wonders on managing weight loss. So you don't have to do a fad diet. You don't have to do pills. You don't have to do things that can kill your liver and your gallbladder and your heart like there was that fen-fen and redux you know, craze for a while. It worked until you died. Then you died skinny. 2018 analysis found rheumatoid arthritis patients who lost more than five kilograms of weight were three times more likely to experience improvement than those who lost less than five kilos, 10 pounds, let's say. Plant-based diets have consistently proven to be effective for weight loss. So another reason why going to a plant-based diet is a good idea. Plant-based diets promote healthy gut bacteria. Some studies suggest that micro microbiome, the bacteria in your colon, may play a role in rheumatoid arthritis and inflammation. The authors note that a high-fiber plant-based diet can alter the composition of good bacteria and increase bacterial diversity, which is often lacking in rheumatoid arthritis patients. Now, the rules here apply to everything. That's what's so cool about this. I've been on the radio now for, I don't know, 15 years maybe. I've been studying and researching for 40 years. I've written two books. Uh, I got chiropractor, in fact, I got healthcare provider of the year uh, in Georgia. I've been on Dr. Oz's show. Dr. Oz even says, uh, since I met Joe, I stopped using Google because he's a, such a wealth of knowledge. So you have a good source of information here, highly credible. And I think you should maybe listen to it. It meaning me. And let's see if what I'm saying is right. Plant-based diets consisting of fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes are tremendously helpful for those with rheumatoid arthritis. This study offers hope that a simple menu change can help joint pain, swelling, and other painful symptoms may help Im improve and many cases disappear. So you have to put the bones back in place for arthritis patients, whether it's rheumatoid or osteo, and there's other types too, but those are the two main ones. You got to put the bones back in place because even if you get on a great diet, and you bring down the inflammation. If the bones are still out of place, they're still rubbing up against each other. So rheumatoid arthritis can cause swelling, cause the bones to shift out of place, which can then lead to osteoarthritis. So you have to include chiropractic care, I believe, in any arthritic protocol, 
And I'm amazed that there's still some rheumatologists that don't refer every one of their patients for chiropractic care. I am blown away that that doesn't happen. I don't know. I would consider it unethical. We have an answer why you're not telling patients that. Now, to play devil's advocate, many people don't know what I'm telling you guys. I had a, a nurse, uh, nurse practitioner on my show the other day, and she was just in the audience as a guest, and we were talking afterwards. And she said, what you teach is not taught in medical schools. So what you're teaching is what we call postgraduate advanced work for doctors. And you guys are getting it. This is what you have to become a doctor to get a postgraduate level. You guys are already at the postgraduate level. How cool is that? So if you do want to make an appointment, if you have a problem, health, neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, health issues, arthritis, um, digestive issues, nutritional issues, make an appointment to come see us. The website is very simple, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E.com, five letters, dot com. You can make an appointment right online. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Uh, you can call us if you want to talk to somebody. My staff answers the phone. My staff is very good. They're very polite. Uh, we accept almost all insurance. We accept everybody, and we've got to check your insurance, see what kind of cover you, coverage you have. If you don't have insurance, it's still the most effective, least expensive treatment. Many patients come in with three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 deductibles. So we're going to treat you for like an entire year for less than your deductible is even going to cost you. And you can put a 20 deductible if you want to, too. So if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com, we'd love to see you. Normally, the first visit is $712 with my doctors. And my doctors are really good, in my opinion. We've reduced that for our listeners to $299. That's an exam, consultation, x-rays, first treatment, going over the x-rays on your follow-up visit, and a complete nutrition evaluation. The nutrition evaluation alone is $150. The x-rays alone are going to be more than $300. So folks, if you want to save money and get well, hopefully, make an appointment, not just for you, for your friends, your family. Stop suffering needlessly. Children, we treat children. Yes, we do. Uh, Our oldest patient right now is 106. So yeah, we treat the full gamut of patients. So if you want to make an appointment, drjoe.com, stop wasting time. Just go do it. Research is needed, of course. Uh, Research is always needed. But this review about plant-based diet adds to the evidence that diets rich in fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds may be beneficial for autoimmune conditions. So, cat's out of the bag. If you have an autoimmune condition, I'm going to tell you the same thing I just told you to do for rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune condition, is cut out the foods that cause inflammation and irritate the immune system. And if you're new to the show, it's what I call the seven deadly sins. Seven deadly sins of nutrition are, say it with me if you know what they are, alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener. Now, you can, there's some subsets under there, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, things like that. But generally, those would fit under sugar because, you know, grains are sugars. So alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, and artificial sweetener. Other studies have found plant-based diets may be protective against hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, and multiple sclerosis. Wow. If you have MS, you want to stay away from dairy products, absolutely. Because dairy products flare up MS cases. How many people with MS have ever been told that? I bet you nobody. Well, unless you listen to my shows. So how do you diagnose arthritis? How do you know you have it? Well, first of all, come see your chiropractor, your friendly neighborhood chiropractor. Hopefully that's us. And a good first step is if you're unsure if you have arthritis, we can do an exam Uh, We can take some uh, x-rays to see if there's any degeneration of the joints. So that's step one. Now, if we think you have rheumatoid arthritis, uh, we can also get uh, blood work done, and we can test to see if you have uh, certain factors. There's certain things we look for. Uh, It's anti-CCP, RF factor, ANA factors, and we can do tests to see if you have these things, and that's going to tell us you have an autoimmune disease specifically for rheumatoid arthritis. So, how do we treat it? That's what you want to know. That's what it boils down to, right? The, me- the main goal for most doctors is to reduce the pain you're experiencing and prevent further damage to the joints. Very valent go- va- a valiant goal. You'll learn what works best for you in terms of controlling pain because it may be heat, maybe ice, maybe exercise, maybe rest. So there's different things that work real well. There are certain devices we can do, walkers and canes if it gets bad enough. But the missing link is putting those bones back in place. 
I believe that's the missing link in all of healthcare. If we just got everybody adjusted, regardless of what disease they have, let's get everybody adjusted. And I promise you, a large percentage of those patients are going to see some improvement. Some of them will see a total improvement of whatever condition they have. Chiropractic should be used in all other joint ventures when it comes to healthcare, in my opinion. Nutrition should be used in all other joint ventures in healthcare, in my opinion. Why not? Nutrition is easy. Here, this is what you eat. If you don't know what to eat, here, I'm going to give it to you right now. Go to our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com, and type in the words, seven deadly sins of nutrition. Listen to that lecture. I did it a while ago. Somebody said, when are you going to do a new version of it? Well, it's still the same information, but I can do a new version if you want. Seven deadly sins of nutrition. Those are the seven foods you want to avoid. Then type in, so what can I eat? And listen to the lecture I did on so what, what can I eat? That's your basis. That's your core. Those lectures have been played in colleges, high schools, grammar schools, universities, uh, online classes all around the world. I've had people come up to me and say, Dr. Joe, I took your class on the seven deadly sins of nutrition. Where? At such and such college. I never taught at that college. Teachers will take it, and you have my permission, take it off the website and play it in their classrooms. That's how important this is. Dietitians, doctors, nurses. That's how valuable this information is. You get it for free. DrJoe.com, great source of information. Now, when it comes to other tests, we can do MRIs, we can do CAT scans, we can do x-rays to see if those cartilage or cartilage is wearing out. And we want to get to the cause of the problem, not just treat the symptoms. Now, when it comes to pain, sometimes heat is necessary, but sometimes pain makes heat makes it worse. I've said many times I have a traumatic brain injury. I can't use hot packs on my neck. It makes my condition substantially worse. I have to use ice. Now, sometimes with arthritis, you need heat. There's no way of knowing it until you try it. But if you're going to use heat, I want you to use moist heat. This is very important because dry heat will dry out the joint. So if you plug in a heating pad and throw it on your body, A, I don't like heating pads because they have an electromagnetic field around them. And that's advanced stuff. You don't want to put your body in an electromagnetic field, but it's going to dry out the joint. So moist heat. If you don't know how to get a moist heating pad, take a towel, dip it in water, wring it out somewhat, heat it up. You can put it in a microwave. Only time I'll ever tell you to use a microwave. And then put the hot towel on your, on your uh, joint. So it's real simple, easy, and it's free. Different types of medications, of course, are used. I'm not a medical doctor, but from a medical standpoint, analgesics, uh, acetaminophen that cover up the pain, non anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen or aspirin, uh, menthol and capsaicin creams and immunosuppressants. They can give you prednisone or cortisone to bring down, shut down your immune system. Well, there's a problem with that. You need your immune system. And so that's why I try to stabilize it so we don't just shut it down. Now, we have a great pain cream. It's Dr. Joe's pain cream. It's on the website, drjoe.com. And it has lidocaine in it. It has menthol in it and has CBD. So lidocaine is, uh, the menthol is short term, right away you feel it. The lidocaine is more long and the CBD affects it over time. It actually builds up over time to be more effective. I love this cream. As far as a pain cream goes, the best pain cream I've ever found. And I helped create it. That's why I like it, of course. So that's on the website, drjoe.com. You also find that if your body is more alkaline, it's less likely to have inflammation. So how do you alkalize your system? Same rules, plant-based diet. Now, there's two supplements I recommend everybody start with, no matter who you are, arthritis or no, would be Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. I mix them together with coconut milk, almond milk. I have a little jar. I shake it up. I drink it every day. If I want to get crazy, I'll throw a frozen banana and put it in my uh, magic bullet and whip it up into a smoothie. So that's the minimum supplements I believe everybody should be taking. If you're not doing anything else, if you're just not willing to do anything, you're going to eat a horrible diet, you're going to have bones out of place, you're going to suffer in pain, at least do Super Greens and Essential Source. And it's very inexpensive. It's on the website, drjoe.com. Now, with arthritis, rheumatoid, or osteo, I'd also recommend turmeric, which is on the website, drjoe.com. I'd also recommend digestive enzymes because enzymes can break up inflammation and help the body digest food more efficiently, which can then lower the inflammation as well. And that's on the website where drjoe.com. See how smart you guys are? You're picking up on this so quickly. 
Surgery can be done to replace joints. I'd rather get to the problem beforehand. We also have a treatment. It's called acoustic wave therapy. Now, this, this is just amazing. And we use it on arthritic joints. We use it on muscle problems. We use it all over the body, actually. And it's just crazy. It sends little impulses into the joint. And it stimulates the body to grow new blood vessels. And also stimulates the body to recruit stem cells into the area. I had a patient uh, in a West Cobb office, actually. I was treating him there. And he came in, and he was seeing another doctor before me. Uh, heavy guy and horrible feet. Feet hurt so bad, could hardly even walk. And we adjusted him. I said, I want to send you over to our Marietta office. I want you to get some acoustic wave therapy. And we did a treatment on him. And I saw him a couple of days later. He walked into the office, and I said, how you doing? He says, I need that machine. Oh, my God, I haven't walked this good in 10 years. Now, he's still in a lot of pain. He's still limping, but he said, oh my God, I can't believe it. I need to do it again. And the nice part about acoustic wave therapy in conjunction with chiropractic care, we only do about five or six maximum acoustic wave therapy treatments to see the results. Then we add the chiropractic care along with it. So if you want information about that, it's on the website, drjoe.com, and you can set up an appointment to get an acoustic wave treatment. It's pretty cool stuff. I really like it a lot, especially for arthritic patients. Um, of course, there are certain conditions you wouldn't use it for, but we can diagnose that when you come in. Physical therapy, excellent, builds up strong muscles, but it doesn't put the bones back in place. So that's why I work in conjunction with physical therapists. Lifestyle change, of course, lose the weight, eat a healthy diet, supplements, super greens, essential source, omega-3 fatty acids are great for inflammation on the website, enzymes, great for inflammation on the website, turmeric, and then water. Make sure you're drinking enough water. Most of us don't. As we get older, our thirst sensation drops. And one of the big concerns I see with senior citizens is they just don't drink water because they're not thirsty. You eat when you're hungry. You go to the bathroom when you have to, but you don't drink water. You have to drink it whether you're thirsty or not. And as you get older, especially, if you can't drink water, take a bath. Sitting in a bathtub, your sp skin is a sponge. It can actually absorb fluids. I uh, had a patient one time, severe morning sickness. I mean, throwing up, thought she was going to die. I thought the baby was going to die with her. And we got her into a bathtub, and within about 10 minutes, she was like a whole new person. Amazing results. So something to consider. Folks, I'm almost out of time. If you have any questions whatsoever on any health problems, you can send them to me through our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. a little bot that pops up. Send it in. Make sure you put your right email address in. Uh, we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Search the website. Type in what you're looking for in the search bar. Chances are we've done a show, a podcast, an article, a, a presentation on it, and you get a lot more information there as well. The supplements we talked about, of course, minimum, Super Green Central Source, but all of them are on the website, drjoe.com. We can ship them to you. We usually ship next business day, or you can come pick them up. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. If you come and pick them up, you save shipping costs. Happy to save you some money everywhere we can. But most importantly, please make an appointment to come see us, drjoe.com. First visit is normally $712. We've reduced that to $299. We accept people, all insurances. Follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito, all one word, and then go get on the website, drjoe.com. Thanks for tuning in.